Oh, DC Shoes and Butter Goods. DC Josh Kalis OG. This is already out and it's already sold out for the most part. Whoops. Um, so don't expect it to be available anytime soon. But basically, um, DC Shoes did a collaboration. Butter Goods did a collaboration with DC Shoes. Um, and they brought back this amazing Josh Kalis OG in the fucking amazing colorway. Uh, great lookbook to boot as well. I got it here on the, on the screen. Um, I've not skated in a while. It's been a while since I've skated maybe a few years like like consistently and skating like with most things when you don't do it often you fucking you know you lose it and then you know even just fucking standing up on a board and pushing um like gino you fucking fuck up really quickly so you have to consistently keep at it but again you know got things to do but if, if ever there was a time for me to get back on my board if ever time for me to get back skating to head back up to, over to my land and fucking try and drop in for the 17th time these would be it these these um Kelly shoes are fucking amazing. Again, how come back to the old days when I used to fucking obsess over Crumble Incident and kind of watch all the scans he uploaded? Um, they remind me of just you know back in the day, you know, big blue denim jeans, t-shirts, baseball caps, basically tilted a bit to the to to one side. They look fucking great. So essentially, you got um all kind of like a blue and white upper. Nice little gradient on some of the bits on the upper as well. You've got essentially like kind of like a gum sole, but not really. More like a brown, um, a brown, a, yeah, gum sole, but not like a clear gum sole that you maybe see on an Air Force One. Um, with your little air bubble, with your little enclosed air unit at the back, and we're just really tastefully done by Butter Goods. Again, they just essentially brought back the Joss Kalis um DT shoe in their own kind of vision, their own kind of colorway. And I like that's what I like about some so, some skate collaborations when they get a chance to collaborate with a big brand. Instead of just whacking up a, a random kind of, you know, instead of whacking together like a random colorway that doesn't make any sense, they usually talk them back to some of the OG colorways and basically try and revive them because for the most part, most of these big sneaker brands don't trust in their archives. I don't know why they tend to kind of steer towards or instead towards giving you serving you these fucking shitty colorways patents weird materials weird color combinations so it's usually up to the collaboration which is sad because it's a waste of a collaboration really because you know butter good should probably be going a bit crazy and trying to make more of a of a splash with their shoe but what you have to do as a as a as a brand owner is kind of you know weigh up the pros and cons and be like you know if i got this opportunity to go into a brand that i love like dc shoes and actually bring back a shoe that reminds me of my youth and maybe kids and nowadays will connect with it you'd have to do it in it and this josh kalis um og is so fucking good man and so it comes with the, uh, so in in the collaboration or the capture collaboration you've got a t-shirt you've got the shoe two t-shirts here you've got a couple of hoodies some long sleeve long sleeve shirts jumpers a nice little half zip as well that's very very much in that same sort of vein you could very much imagine yourself wearing this all together with the tracksuit pants and the butt and the bucket hats like so good it's so, and again it's it's a it's a collaboration it looks like you can skate in it if you wanted to and it's also a collaboration that you can also you know go and chill with because i think the shoes kind of lend themselves to it and nowadays anyway it feels as if like um it feels like nowadays the kids that do wear um that do skate for the most part the kids that i've seen skating around liverpool street and shit they look like they could go out the next stage i mean i remember when we used to skate back in the day we looked dusty we looked so haggard so fucked up covered in muck and just not really looking quote-unquote swaggy but these kids look really good essentially they don't look the same they've got the same fucking big mum lesbian jeans on with the converses and the, you know half zip jump fleece jumper things and the little hats and the tiny wheels and their skateboards they all look the same don't get me wrong but i like the fact that they look like they can go out um at night and have a good time you know what i mean but yeah i like this um, lookbook as well very very much influenced from the 90s so cool shit there you got a little single single gold chain look at how those look at how those just careless looks with jeans on they look fucking banging <sighs> if i could get a pair if only i could get a pair they all sold out though unfortunately at the moment it looks so nice man such a good collaboration such a good colorway the tracksuit looks fucking awesome as well um nice logo again though dcs are coming back into trend it feels like i wonder why man maybe it's a 90s revival but yeah great collaboration all together check them out if they're available in your local sneaker store and again another durag in the lookbook durags are all over the place isn't it if you've got a black guy in your lookbook you need you need to have a durag on which is you know interesting interesting but yeah check them out if they're available in your local skate shop get them now whilst they're still available if i was you i'd double up on them they look a really really good shoe I like how they look and again some of the stuff on the other bits are quite nice as well we've got the whole um breakdown of the shoe units as well so yeah very 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 much one of my favorite collaborations to come out 
recently so check that out dc shoes and butter goods should be available now in all your local skate stores if not it's sold out and you can have to cry into your pillow like i do every night